Hello, so creating your first game isn't easy, but some practices are better than others, and in this video, I want to go over the four best practices that'll really help you improve your game development journey with Godot, and then go over some of the worst practices that will almost all of the time lead to you quitting game development. If you're new to Godot or new to game development, then this video is going to be so helpful, and let's just get started with the best possible practices to have. So the best practices in Godot are in no particular order, but firstly, one of the best things to practice when creating your first game in Godot is to not be scared to go back through code and clean it up. Once you have a working script, I always think it's a good idea to go back through and make the code more simpler and more efficient, taking away all the unnecessary stuff and making the code much more readable. Next, be sure not to look at the final destination of your project. Look to create small goals and focus on completing one small goal at a time without getting distracted by working on other tasks. If you complete a lot of small goals, then you'll eventually have completed the big goal, and then you'll have a completed game that you can actually be proud of. Then this one is simple, but you must keep the project organized. I know everyone says it, but that's because it's so important to have an organized file system. You don't want your file system to be a complete maze that makes it impossible to find files, because then it's going to cause a massive headache, for example, when connecting paths within different scripts. And then make sure to use signals in the correct way. Signals are so useful to have a game running smoothly and keeping communication between nodes clean. Because there are so many different signals that are all being emitted at the same time throughout the game, and as you can see, if this isn't set up correctly, then that could get pretty messy fast. If you're not sure how to use signals, then I recommend checking out a tutorial on everything to know about signals, and I'm working on a really detailed tutorial on this soon. So in a couple days, I'll have that video linked in the pinned comment and description below. So quickly, two of the worst possible practices that so many people people make when creating their first games is well one thinking that their first game is going to be insanely good and getting emotionally attached to make everything so perfect all this will do is lead you to being disappointed in your work and always remember that you probably can't even name one game developer whose first ever game was a big hit and then second lots of people think it is okay to start trying to code their own game without actually learning how programming works first and this is a big no because you don't have the basic building blocks of knowledge to learn coding the correct way and trust me this will lead to bigger issues in the future so if you're new to coding and you want to use good then go learn Python basics first. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was able to help. If you found any good out of this video, then please subscribe and drop a like so YouTube knows to push this video to more aspiring game developers who want to learn to make their own good old games as well. Until next time, stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.